Oh, hey there, people. How the fuck's it going today? Today is my day off, and uh, I got up late. It's about 2 o'clock right now. I'm hungry, so I said fuck it, and I made some sausages. Because, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? So I got some sausages coming out of the air fryer that I made for eats. Because I'm ready to eat! Tempted to go out in the garage and fuck around for a bit. But I'm also tempted to say we gotta fix the... Where the fuck is my ketchup? Anyway, we gotta fix that blower. <clears throat> I wanna look into that gear pinion thing. Sausage! So yeah, what I'm not sure is if I gotta replace that whole shaft. Or do you just get it serviced? I don't know. See, the reason why I want to fix the blower is because it's been sitting tits over ass for a while and all the oil from the engine leaked out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plastic bag it, we're going to take it up to Hamlin's and see what they say and see what they say to fix it. And then after that, uh, I'm going to go to the parents' house, drop off the money to mom and then uh, go from there. So let's pitter-patter and have at her, but first, I'm going to eat! Alrighty, I just did some research on the internet to see if there is a fix for that shaft and I can't find one. Rex says it's missing a bushing, but I wonder, like, once again, I wonder if that's a serviceable part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a rip up the Hamlins. First, got a crap, and then we're going to go. All right, so we'll go into the garage. We'll get the uh, part, line up the Hamlins, see what they can do. Worst case, they give me some advice. Best case, I get it fixed. And uh, then we're going to head over to Mom's and drop off her money for her laptop. Rex already came by and bought it, so nice. Yeah, just a real fucking gross of a day out today, people. You see what I mean? All the oil came out of the engine. That's right there on the floor. So, and I did it over here too. So that sucks. But anyway, the part I'm looking at is right. Ah, oh, I should have brought a bag with me. Fuck. I don't know if I have one out here. What's this? That's a paper towel. Okay, I gotta go back in the house and grab a bag. So, and then we'll uh, head up to Hamlin's, get them in the window, and get that swapped out. Oh, well, it'd be good to get at least one thing fixed. I know I gotta get the mower fixed, but if I can get the blower fixed, I can get it the fuck out of the way. That's one less thing in the garage. It has to be in the garage, because right now in its current condition, rolling it on one wheel just doesn't seem awesome. So, figure frig it. We'll get this thing serviced, and then uh, get it out of there, so I can work on the lawnmower some more. Because that lawnmower, I'm gonna need to uh, remove the deck to attach the belt from what I've been told apparently the belt routing you can't route the belt with the deck on I don't understand why but apparently you can't so I guess once we get the deck off and figure it out we'll see what the hell went wrong and then get it right yeah let's get over to Hamlin's and see if they got the replacement part not exactly the nicest day out today the fucking air is thick like really muggy thick which is the reason why I don't really feel like doing too much today I was kind of hoping it was gonna be like yesterday how it was for Judge I think he said it was cool out oh no wait never mind that was dark night he said it was cool out yep he uh, he was getting temperatures of the 50 Fahrenheit persuasion which I fucking love I love it when it's that cold like at night when it drops down that cool it's just like oh sleepy time happy time sleep for days but whatevs um we'll go ahead and see maybe they can fix it maybe they got a replacement part in stock maybe it's something I'm gonna have to order off the internet so I don't know that's something I never looked up was how to fix that part I uh, probably should have uh, I wanted to I looked up for bushings for it, but I don't know what the fuck to type in It's like hex shaft or drive shaft or I don't know fuck yeah, the, the manual has no information on how to repair it or replace it So like they, they reference it once and that's for changing out that rubber that we did last year that uh, rubber friction ring So we already did that like pretty much this fucking blower has been nickel and diming me like I bought somebody else's problem But then what do you expect like he bought it for 800 bucks at Walmart and it came with an 8 horse and a 26 inch cut Like what, what, what do you expect it to have you know what's going on here? Ooh, bumpy 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 Okay, so we'll take a rip over like I said and then on the way back I'm gonna stop off at the parents house give mom her money for the laptop. I have my phone on me good but yeah, after looking at it, there's no way to take those gears off. Like, if I could take the gear off, I could probably install, like, a spacer or a shim or something. But there's nowhere where I can see that you install a spacer or a shim or even a keyway. Something to lock the gear still. Or, you know, keep it from flopping around like a flounder. Because the gear's behaving that way, it's not going to work. It's going to be nothing but a problem. Oh, 70 here? I'm doing 80. Fuck. Take her down a notch there, Skivens. There we go. Luckily, it's a steep grade hill, so it doesn't take much to decelerate. You just gotta not give her a lot of throttle, and she does it on her own. 
Pretty good times. Pretty good times. I don't know, worst case in Ontario, if this fucking blower keeps nickel and diming me, I might just buy a new one and dump it. I would give it to my brother, but then every time it broke, he'd be calling me, expecting me to pay to repair it. And I don't want to deal with that. So, here's hoping this place is open, and it looks like it is. Otherwise, the, if it's not open, then they got a lot of cars in the lot for no fucking reason. And they left the front door open. So, let's go see if they got what I need to get shit dead. I'll be back. Fuck when you're right, you're right. Guess what? That shaft is not serviceable. So, I had to buy another that completely replaces the entire, the entire, holy fuck Adam, the entire drive line on that snowblower. And it's a build it yourself. Yep, you gotta assemble the slut yourself. Cause I totally know what the fuck I'm doing there, right? Now keep in mind, we had a problem with the one tire not coming off the uh, axle. So, I gotta, fuck, I gotta do something. Might have to go to um, Crappy Tire and get some penetrating oil. So I figure while we're out in the boat, before we go over to Mom and Dad's, we'll head over to Crappy Tire and get some hmm, penetrating oil. I gotta get some gasoline for my car too. We're running a little low on the fuel system. So I'm not even gonna tell you how much that shaft kit costed for the fucking, for the, uh, for the guy, because holy fuck, they really should have bought me dinner before they made me pay. That's not their fault, it's just the price of parts. But it's cheaper than buying a new blower, that's for sure. And hopefully this is it. I'm going straight, so. Coming in way too hot. So we'll go over to Crappy Tire, we'll get some penetrating oil. And we'll soak the shit out of that fucking tire. Because that shaft on the top has to go. Like this kit literally replaced the round shaft, the hex shaft, the fucking, remember that, that, that friction disc I put in? Yeah, replaces that. Replaces every fucking thing in that belly pan to make the snowblower go forward. Everything. So that's pretty cool. So I'll get that done. I'll, I'll try for today. I got nothing better going on. So I don't know. I'll see if Rex is busy and if he wants to come over and play too because he said not to do anything until he came back. But seeing how I'm replacing everything, if he wants to show up, cool. If he doesn't, cool. You know, probably buy some grease too while I'm out. I don't know if that kit came with grease. Came with every other C-clamp known to man though. Doing stuff that's really out of my, not out of my league, but out of my nature. So it's kind of intimidating. Got a bit of the queasies, but shit's got to get done, right? If I would have brought the snowblower there that he told me, he was like, it would have been the price of the parts plus 120 bucks. And I was like, oh, hey, like, fuck. I only paid like, I don't even know how much I paid for that fucking thing. I think I paid a bill, a bill 60. I can't remember now. About 100 to 200 bucks, I know that much. They make a GT Elantra. It's probably the same bullshit as an Elantra, just it has like a radio with an MP3 player on it or some shit. I like making fun of Hyundai, leave me alone. Hyundai, welcome to Hyundai, you buy car. You buy car, you get out. Hyundai, selling cars. Mini Cooper, the little Mini Cooper. Yay, Mini Cooper Poopy Dooper. You Subaru. Let's say, wait, is it Tuesday? No, it's totally Friday. Tuesday's when they do the car shows around here. One of these, it's been a while since I've been to one. It's been since vlog 200, so that's like 1,802, three vlogs ago. So I should probably come and check that out. Maybe we got some new entries, or maybe it's the same old Colossal Fossils from five years ago, still doing the same shit. Uh -huh. Don't just stop and turn around, bud. Don't look back in anger, said the band Oasis. All right. I like to walk right in the middle of parking lots. It's how my life expectancy plans on living forever. All right, let's go get some fucking lube, and then uh, we'll head her home. All right, no, head her to my parents' house, drop off the money, then head her home, and I'll show you what this kid is. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm at home. All right, people, I'm home. I just went and put some shit in the house. Here's what we got. I got some shit from Crappy Tire here, and uh, all the parts. We'll go into the garage. I'll show you all this. So I got some more PV Blaster. We're going to use that on the tire to get it off. Got some super grease for putting shit back together. And a fresh tub of oil because, well... Yeah, anyway, and this is what I got. Okay, that's the bag that I used to bring the old one, which this is the old floppy one. He confirmed it, this is not a serviceable part. Everything's press fitted together. Uh, once it breaks, you're fucked. So, what they sell you now is this. So here's the, the bags with all the gears and all that shit in it. All right, there's a, thank God, an instruction manual telling you the exact way on how to assemble this so buddy at Hamlin said it's no different than building one of those Sweden desks so that's good that's good and there's all the shit so it came with grease whoops came with some other shit too pretty much everything you need to put this fucker together there's your new hex shaft so here's your gear 
uh, your new hex shaft, okay, your new floppy gear with complete, all right, bunch of other bits and nuggets and clips and shits and stuff, I already showed that, a new friction disc, lovely, and a new drive shaft, and I think this is the gear that was flopping around like a flounder, I can't remember, but all these here, parts go together. So what I need to do with this is I got to get this shaft out of here. So to get this shaft out of here, I need to take this tire off. I think. I don't know. Because right now, like this sleeve doesn't come off and I don't see where to get the sleeve off. And this thing's got to come out off of here. So... Yeah, in order to do that, I don't even know where to begin. So... Fuck! Wish I new stuff. So I hosed her down with some penetrating oil. And it doesn't seem to be taken. Now, at the end of this shaft... Not this one, this one here. It, yeah, okay, it does. It goes flat d down. So, like, this is the direct bolt-on replacement for this entire setup. Now, my question is, is... I probably should replace everything on here. Yeah, I really should. Put all new parts into it. Because I was thinking about just saying fuck it and putting the hex shaft in and not putting the drive shaft on. But maybe I should just say fuck it and just put the bottom shaft in. I don't know. It's hot as piss in here too. You can probably see the beads of sweat coming off my face. And uh, it's not exactly awesome weather right now. I'm going to leave that as it is because... I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. I don't feel like doing a lot of anything today. Fucking depression, I tell you. That and Church asked me to jump on TeamSpeak because he's got some questions, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Probably have a quick beer. I bought some beers today from the uh, Northern, or the North Bay uh, Brewing Company. So we'll see how those are in a second. I got myself a growler, and I bought a, bought a couple cans of this stuff. The, um, Bear Runner Blonde Ale, newontariobrewing.com. Check them out on the internet. And uh, yeah, it's our local brewer. So, fucking right on. Anyway, I just finished getting off TeamSpeak there, chatting with the guys, trying to get some ideas. Because I don't have the, the sense of nonsense to figure out how to take that fucking axle off. Those sleeves are on there. And they're in the way, so I could have sworn Adrian and I had the whole fucking top end disassembled on that blower. Maybe we just had the hex shaft out. I'll have to go and review the video. That's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, boys. Sometimes she don't. Jesus, Murphy, I had a whole bunch of fucking rice in here. I thought I cleaned this. Alrighty, well, I did another rice pack and some of these oriental noodles. Uh, we're going to steam these. And then once this is all said and done, we're going to go ahead and uh, mix the vegetables right in with the... Stop licking my leg. We're gonna mix the vegetables in with the rice. And just like that, dinner is being cooked. But no, I did a lot of searching on the internet. I did check out Donnie Boy 2323 I think is his channel name. He had a couple videos on there for snowblowers, but nothing for what I need. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? A screw. Probably something for one of those plates that I threw in the garbage. Um, but anyway, he did have a video for removing the bushings. But it was on like what looked like a Cub Cadet, so that didn't help me out any. So I, I basically penetrated and oiled the bitch out of the tire. We'll see how well that holds out. Maybe I can get the tire off tomorrow or something, I don't know, we'll try. Tomorrow I work till fucking late, and then I gotta be back at work in like 12 hours. So, no idea what the fuck tomorrow's gonna bring, but we'll see. Maybe we can get shit did before we go to work. I can go out there and play with it and try and figure it out. And go from there. Yeah. So, that's something that we can probably do tomorrow. But, uh... I just don't feel like doing shit today because uh, I kind of pooped, even though I shouldn't be. Probably because I didn't do shit today. You know how it is. You know how we do. We don't. Also, one of these nights, I got to get around to doing those vape reviews for those two new darts, the E-Grip 2 and the Cuboid Mini. I haven't gotten that uh, done yet, so. And another thing I got to do, so check this out, guys. This is what I bought for tonight for, for beer. I bought two of those, um, chittered already, the new Ontario Bear Runner Blonde. This is fucking hilarious. This can is just off the charts awesome. Check this out. So it's called Bear Runner Blonde Ale. 
The bottom has got a picture of a bear chasing after a guy. On the side of the can it has the new Ontario Brewing Company. I showed that. But uh, well, there's the ingredients containing water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, yeast. And then if you go over to this side here it has the explanation. So named for the ultimate, ultimate known and completely fictional annual North Bay running of the bears. This Canadian Blonde Ale is a crowd-pleasing golden beer that showcases the fresh Canadian primary malts, or pra primary, no, prairie malts, with a pleasant light hop profile. It pairs well with the sitting around with the campfire and the good times with good friends. Fucking awesome. 4.5%. Right here. You don't have to run faster than the bear, just faster than your friends. That is fucking hilarious. Brings me back to the Dungeons and Dragons days when you didn't have to run faster than the dragon. You just had to run faster than the dwarf in the party. But I also got a growler of this red beard beer and another bottle of this other kind of beer. Both of them look really good, so. Gonna get some food into me, jam another beer into me. And this beer is really good, this uh, Blonde Ale Running Bear. Really good stuff. Yup. I can see sitting around a campfire drinking the shit out of that shit. Why is he barking? Oreo, shut up! Hey, come downstairs to get lunch and Mario's barking his furry little tits off for some fucked up reason. Shut up. There's probably nobody out here. There's nobody out here. No reason to bark. What the fuck are you going on about? Jesus, Murphy dog. Anyway, this shit's still going. Vegetables are pretty much done. Rice is pretty much done. All right, let's mix it all up. Mmm, steak. Yay, dinner! Anyway, I'm going to eat. All right, guys, well, we just finished live streaming on YouTube with the Grand Theft Auto live stream. Got slapped with a bunch of bullshit. Lovely jubbly. Basically, one of the guys you play with. Uh, I don't know if it's internet connection or his account, whatever. Every time we play with him, shit gets fucking shitty. And, um, because of that, people didn't want to play with him, so I basically had to be the bad guy to tell him, listen, um, you can play any game you want with us except for Grand Theft Auto, and he went and blew up and decided to make a post on Facebook saying, you know, um, obviously when you go Hollywood on YouTube and you hit over 10k subs, you turn into a dick. And blah 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 was was a bling bling. Meanwhile, it wasn't even my fault. Other people were bitching, and I had to get thrown under the bus. So, I think because of that, I might tame her down on the streaming from this point on, and just focus on making videos and working at my job, and not caring about the video gaming so much. So, for that, I'm probably going to take a bit of time off on the streaming, and just focus on the other things in life. You know, the better things. And uh, that's what's going to happen. But there will be video game videos, obviously, because I'll be uploading to Skaven Games. Uh, I want to get back into Stardew Valley. I got a couple other games I want to get into as well that I got from the Steam Summer Sale. And uh, that should be pretty good. But as far as the streaming goes, I think I'm going to be calling her quits for a little bit because... Ugh. Oh, fuck that shit. I don't need to be... I don't need to deal with that stress. I got enough stress in my life to have to deal with that kind of bullshit. And that's what's going to happen from this point on. Because i got enough work ahead of me between my job and getting shit fixed before the snow flies and so on and so forth that uh, I don't need to deal with extra bullshit. So I'm not gonna. That's the way she goes. But on that note, people, I'm shutting her down. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.